everybody, Paula Adderton here, and I'm very excited to invite you to one of my upcoming performances at Roland's Intimate Smooth Jazz Getaway. It's at the beautiful Crab Plaza Oceanfront Resort in Melbourne, Florida, on the 29th through the 31st of October, 2021. This is going to be a three-day event packed with great smooth jazz music. I'll be performing on Friday the 29th and would love to see you there. For more details and to reserve your package, go to smoothjazzgetaway.com or call 321-783-9004. See you there. Hey everyone, it's Ollie Silk here from a very chilly United Kingdom. Now I've got some awesome news for you. I'm going to be playing at Roland's Intimate Smooth Jazz Getaway and that's down there in sunny Melbourne, Florida on October the 29th to the 31st, 2021. And it's going to be at the Crown Plaza Oceanfront Resort. We're going to have a blast. I'm going to be playing alongside Greg Manning, Jeff Ryan, Paula Atherton, Rob Zinn and Tony Exum Jr. We're going to have a party. It's the whole weekend. And you guys, you've got to book your packages. You get two nights. You get breakfast buffet. You get dinner. You get the shows. You get to hang out with us. It's going to be so, so cool. I know it seems like a world away right now, but just imagine yourself there next to the beach listening to the smoothest of smooth jazz. I can't wait. I can't wait. So anyway, you need to get on to smoothjazzgetaway.com. You need to book yourself a package because they're selling out very quick and they're limited edition. There's only just over a hundred of them, okay? So I will look forward very much to seeing you there.
Hey, Jeff Ryan here. So excited to be playing some shows again for 2021. This is October 29th through 31st at Roland's Intimate Smooth Jazz Getaway. It's going to be a fantastic time. I hope you guys can come out there. You can book tickets at smoothjazzgetaway.com. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to be performing with my tour buddy, my great friend, my producer, Greg Manning. So we have a great show. We're making up for all 2020 that we missed out on. So this is 2021, October 29th to the 31st over in Florida. Hope to see you there.
everybody doing? You guys ready for a great show, great afternoon? I know I am. So first is the biggest thank you of the day goes to Roland and Brevard Music Group. Now, I'm not speaking as a friend. I'm speaking as a, a musician. Nobody wants to play or see concerts more than musicians do. And without concert promoters, there are no concerts. So, Roland, thank you so much for keeping this going. And David and his crew back there, they do a great job on the sound, as always, and on the video and everything. So thank you guys. And most important, thank you guys for coming out here. I know it's, you know, watching live streams was great eight months ago, but now you're ready to see the real deal. So without having more now, I asked Marcus to give me some bullet points to introduce him. And I, I thought I could memorize them, but there was no way I was going to memorize all this. So excuse me for reading, but here... Here's a little bit of Marcus's bio. <clears throat> it's not only a sought-after solo artist with nine albums to date, he also performs to audiences all over the world and accompanies other great artists such as CeeLo Green and Judith Hill. He's also known as being the featured saxophone with the late Prince and the new power generation. In addition to playing sax and flute, Marcus plays piano, lead bass, is a singer, a writer, a choreographer, a producer, horn arranger, and entrepreneur. He's toured with Prince, Sh uh, Sheila E., CeeLo Green, Anthony Hamilton, and many more. And he's also the first jazz artist to create a comic book, motion graphic animation called The Creatives. And as many of you know, if you know Marcus, he is the first to do a jazz and coffee festival. The Marcus Anderson Jazz and Coffee Escape in Asheville, North Carolina, every August. He's also the owner of Trax Coffee Bar, serving his brand of coffee. He's released 14 albums to date. And with the Hero Live CD and DVD, which will be coming out April 30th. Now, Marcus's favorite quote was given, in, given to him by his dad. And the quote is, work smarter, not harder, okay? And Marcus is a very smart guy, but on a personal note, now this, I can turn this off. We were playing a concert in Kansas City several years ago. It was a great festival called Jazz in the Woods. And it was one of those plug and play. You really didn't have a sound check. You just had a line check just to make sure your stuff was on and you could hear. So we have about 15 to 20 minutes between each artist. <clears throat> and Marcus, we had our line check and he had on these cool clothes. But this, you know, a few years back, he said, I'm, I'm going to take these socks off and roll up the cuffs. You know, he looked cool. So he had his, you know, rolled up like that. So he didn't know what to do with these nice $50 dress socks, so he just put them in the bell of his horn and was going to come back and take them out and play the show. So we kicked the band off. We got this intro going, and Marcus Anderson, here he comes out, and he's blowing his brains out. Nothing coming out. He's over here to the monitor guy screaming at him. Jerry Johnson was on guitar, and Jerry goes, Marcus, your socks are in the bell of your horn. So Marcus took them out, apologized to the sound guy, and the show went perfect. So Jerry and I don't call him the world's greatest saxophonist. We call him the world's greatest saxophonist. So ladies and gentlemen, my friend, the entertaining Marcus Anderson. <laughs> How you feel? 
still in Florida. Y'all doing all right? Do me a favor, y'all. They got me here, so I can this now.
Thank you, thank you so much. How you guys feeling? Woo, y'all feeling good out there? Not me, I'm tired. It's like my third show this year. We can't space them out like this. We can't, we can't do show once a month. That doesn't work for me, you know. I was doing shows, like two or three shows, you know, every week. I was cycling, riding my bike. We was getting ready to do this 70 City Tour with Brian Culberson. He gave me this awesome feature. He was going to play two songs per show. I was going to be featured, do all the stuff. I was going to be spinning. I was stretching. I was going to bring the split back. And then COVID happened. You know, I'm just so thankful and glad to be back performing. Thank you so much, Roland and the Brevard Music Group, for having me. And Jasmine Gent, don't forget about her yesterday. Woo! That girl, that girl is tough. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, man, like, I ain't never really met a person that just got it all like that. And she got it all. Like, Jasmine, mm, girl, keep it up. And I knew things that, like, kind of changed for me when I got here and I arrived. And I, I ran into Jasmine and her mom and I in the lobby. There was no, like, hey, hello. And I love Mama Gent. She's my girl. When I walked up, she said, mm, boy, who been feeding you? Oh, we laughed. We laughed about it. You know, I mean, it was cold. You know, I was relaxing. I wasn't doing I was taking my time. I went to Aruba. You know, I was vacationing. And I just, when we talked and walked away, I went into the elevator and like that one tear fell. <laughs> All the work I thought I'd been doing in January and February was just, just nothing. But anyway, you're going to see me in two months. I'm going shirtless when I come back to Florida. But I'm just messing. I like to, I like to bring my, my reality into the show and stuff. You say what? Nate. Nate's on the way. Nate, Nate passed me. Nate used to be 300 pounds. And like now he's, what, 205? 190. 180. You're lying. You're on a 180 line. Anyway, we're going to get back to the music. We're going to get back to the music. We're going to play another song. The music you're hearing is off of my hero album. Uh, this next song is a song that you may have heard of Sirius XM and uh, it featured Tim Bowman. Today we're going to feature Peter Mangaya on guitar. And the name of the song is something I should have taken heed to last year. It's entitled Just a Taste.
like this, y'all. Y'all like Brandy? We got any Brandy fans in the house? If you don't know who she is, y'all, I'm about to introduce you to her music. This is a song entitled, I Wanna Be Down. Can I be down with y'all? Can I be down with you eyes? Thank you so much. Give it up for Peter Mangaya. That's how you got to say his name every time. Even if his wife waking him up in the morning. Peter Mangaya, wake up, baby. <laughs> I'm corny. I know. I know. They tell me I talk too much. I believe that. My daughters, they're always saying, Dad, just stop. You were funny when I was five. I know better now. I'm 13. It's just, it doesn't work the same. I can't even play the same tricks on them. I try. You know when you walk and you tap somebody on the shoulder and look the other way? They just go just like this. Really, Dad? Anyway, I love being a father. It's fun. We're going to go to another song off the Hero album. And this one I got to work on with the most beautiful, amazing, Chocolate Sunshine, Jasmine Gent. Can we bring her to the stage, y'all? This is a song we did together entitled Your Touch.
up for Jasmine Jen, y'all. Be careful now. Okay, got it. All right, y'all, can we, can we take it back to a little bit of old school? Y'all like Marvin Gaye? Who likes Marvin Gaye in the building, y'all? Do me a favor, y'all, say, I want you. You ready? Say, one more time, y'all, say, I want you. Wait, say, you got it? Come on, say, I want you. Bring it in band. Come on. One, two, one, two. Mr. Nathan Mitchell. Take your time, Nate.
for Nathan Mitchell, y'all. Oh, baby, 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 I want you, darling. I, I want you, baby, 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 just like I want you. That's my Prince, y'all. You know Prince would go, Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's give it up one more time. On keys, Mr. Nathan Mitchell. On guitar, Mr. Peter Mungaya. On drums, Dave Reinhardt. And on bass, Darius Jamar. I say it right. On bass, key bass, everything else over there. He's cool. He over there. You know when you say somebody's name, they don't say nothing. Darius Jamar, he's just... That's the cool swag right there. <laughs> Originally, you know, we were supposed to have uh, Ron Reinhardt on keys and, and Tim, Tim George on bass. They're not them. They're a little bit darker, but we have them here. <laughs> but it's excellent having these guys come in and play with us on stage. You can laugh, it's funny. <laughs> or you can not laugh and you can just treat me like how my daughters treat me. Like, Dad, it's not funny. It's all great, thank you. You guys having a good time so far? I am too, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving playing and performing again. I'm loving like the, the spark of music and the energy of like creating, again, doing shows and 
uh, traveling and then everything just kind of changing, people getting vaccinated and feeling safer to go out. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, she's like, oh, I got my first shot. <laughs> it's my birthday. It's the, it's the equivalent of that. You get your first shot. Girl, we going out tonight. I'm safe. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to keep going a little bit. Nate, you, did a, you had an album uh, that came out last year, wasn't it? And you had, like, some Donny Hathaway and some Stevie on there. Can you give us just a little taste of that? I'm feeling like some piano. It can be Donny or Stevie, either one. Nathan Mitchell, y'all. You did some Donnie, too. Do you got some Donnie you can pull out out of the, the bag real quick? I don't know if you got... I'm putting you on the spot.
Nathan Mitchell. Thanks so much. I did a, t I did a taste of that because I'm working on a Stevie Wonder uh, tribute that I'm, I'm going to air. I'm gonna be, I've been doing some pre-recorded shows, and I aired them most of uh, last year. I, did, I think I did about four or five. Some of you guys caught them. I had Julian Vaughn on. Uh, I had Kenny Lattimore to come on another one. Uh, I had so many different friends. Well, the next one I do with the Stevie Wonder, I'm going to have Nathan Mitchell on it. We're recording it this month, and I'm going to air it sometime in April. And I'll let you guys know when it's, it's happening. Just follow me on social media. Get your phones out and follow my Instagram, Manderson Sachs. And uh, you'll hear all about it. So we're going to go back to my music and, uh, and my album, the Hero album. And I wrote this song last year, uh, probably right at the start of the pandemic. And even though, like, the world was going crazy, it just felt everything was still, like, kind of good and kosher in my world. I, I didn't feel bad about a lot of stuff. Everything still felt timed and on track. So I wrote this song. It's entitled On the Right Track.
why I wore the shirt. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, y'all. Woo, y'all enjoying the music? That was Versace on the floor. That's a Bruno Mars tune. It's gonna be on my new Lives uh, Hero CD and DVD dual set coming out. And uh, it'll be available on digital and physical for those of you that like signed cop copies and physical copies. I ain't forgot about you. Marcy. <laughs> oh, man. Feels good, feels good to be playing. And like I've been saying, y'all don't understand, like, you guys may be enjoying it, but I'm up here having fun. I'm like a kid in the candy store. And I always tell people this, if I do an interview, it's like, what is it like being on stage? And I always tell, you know, any interview, I'm like, the stage is my playground. And so I'm up here spinning, and I ain't back to splits yet, you know, I'm still tight. I got to go to a stretchologist. A friend of mine just told me this new exercise. They said it's like, this or whatever. I'm like, I don't know if that's a real exercise. I think you just messing with me. But anyway, the split is coming in 2021. I don't know when. It might be like late November, December 31st. But I'm going to keep my word. Y'all going to see you. Boom. I, don't, I might not get back up, but I'm going to at least drop down. And I used to do that all the time. When I was touring with Prince, y'all, I was, I was spinning. And I was doing splits and all that stuff. He used to like, he said, Mr. Buckets. Trying to be James Brown. It's my Prince impersonation. <laughs> but um, to get back to the uh, the Hero album, 
I really, really enjoyed this. We had big plans uh, with touring this album, but we didn't get to do it. But even still, I wrote a lot of good songs that I get to feature to you guys this year. One song of which, well, you can clap if you want to. Um, one song of which I wrote when, when I was in a relationship, I was, I was in love, y'all. I was, I was going, I was high in the clouds. I was so in love. And I always told myself, I'm never going to write a song for somebody and put it on the album unless I plan on marrying them. So I wrote, you can go ahead, Nate. I, I wrote the song because I thought this was it. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I have no problem talking about the story. I'm, I'm beyond that point now. But I wrote the song and I said, I'm going to marry this girl. That was my mindset. That was my intent when I went in. I'm not going to cry again, Nate. But no, seriously, like, I can, I can share my life, my story with you guys, because y'all are like my family. So, what do we... <laughs> so, you know, I wrote the song, and, like, things were good, but I, I just... Uh, she has a stressful job, you know. I'm home, you know. My love language is, like, touch, physical touch. I mean, she's working a lot, and then... And maybe it's the, it's the, it's the pressure of, like, oh, I want to see you, and I want to see you more. One day is not enough. Two days, three days, seven days a week, eight days a week is not enough. You know, because when you feel like that love and you find that someone or you think is that special someone, you just, I want to spend every day with you if I can. So anyway, I felt so good about her that I wrote a song. And although we're not together anymore, like she's going on her way, I'm going on my way. I still believe in the, in the meaning of the song and the feeling of the song because I still believe in love. I believe in pure love. I believe in happiness. I believe in marriage and all of that stuff, but I'm still searching for that. So I feel like I'm getting closer. I'm like right there because that was, I was almost there and I, I could taste it. It was in my hand, but I wrote this song for her and her name is Crystal and she's not here. We're not together, but I got, I got to keep it a part of the show because it was a part of my life when I created the album and I want you guys to feel what I was feeling. So here's a song entitled Crystal Clear.
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I hope you liked the song. You felt what I was feeling now. Uh, shout out to pure love and true love. All the lovers in the building, all the couples make some noise. It's less in here than what I thought. People came single tonight. I'm, I'm <laughs> That's like it's been a long quarantine, Marcus. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pick it up just a little bit. Um, they mentioned earlier I got to work with the great Prince. Y'all know about Prince, right? Oh, you know, all that. Now, it was cool. Like, I, had, I had such an amazing time working with him. And before him, I got to work with Sheila E. Before Sheila E., there was Anthony Hamilton. And then um, post Prince was CeeLo Green. Y'all know CeeLo Green? I think you're crazy. That's CeeLo. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Anyway, I always got to do that. It's funny to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, but <laughs> I get so sidetracked. Um, but I got to work with Prince back in 2012. And how he found me was I was, I was filling in. I was subbing for somebody. And I had no idea who he was working with at the time. And a guy by the name of Andrew Goucher. And he asked me if I was working with any artists. And I said, no, I'm just kind of really doing my solo thing. And he was like, oh, okay, send me your clip. I'm working with an artist. Um, I think you might want to work with him. And I'm like, Shh. I'm talking to myself. Like, if it ain't Prince, I'm not trying to do it. <laughs> Fast forward, like, four days later. I'm in Reno, Nevada. I'm doing this little jazz thing at this casino. And I get a voicemail. It pops up on my phone. And it's, it says, hey, what's going on, Marcus? This is uh, Andrew Goucher. And I sent Prince your video. He loves what you're doing. He wants to fly you out to Minneapolis. And I'm like, what? And you know when you get that phone call or that voicemail, you can't really make out what they're saying? That's like, I know they didn't say Prince. So you push the phone closer to your ear as if you're going to hear it better. And you close the other ear. And I listen again. I said, no, I, I, he can't be saying what I'm thinking he's saying. So I give the phone to my friend Amy Maddenly. And she says, no, he says Prince. And I said, oh, my gosh. So I waited, you know, waited and waited for a call. It didn't happen until about maybe like July that year. But that's like the worst months of my life because I'm sitting here waiting, sleeping with my phone by my pillow on Ringer. And every time it buzzes, I'm looking at it, waiting to see if Prince is going to call. So lo and behold, he did. I get flown out to Minneapolis with a couple of my other friends um, that are in the horn section. And Prince walks up and appears out of nowhere in a cloud of purple smoke purple smoke just and floats and he says how you doing I'm Prince and I'm like man I know who you are and I said I'm, I'm doing fine how are you I'm, I'm Marcus and he says I know who you are and I'm like this guy's kidding so he starts naming songs off like my previous albums this is like album like number five or whatever and he's like naming the songs he's like I really like this I like what you did on that and I'm like oh shoot so I do a little bit of research and I knew, like, Candy Dofer worked with him, and I knew Mike Phillips did, and, and, and Maceo Parker. But I found out, like, Najee worked with him as well. And I'm like, I get to be in that class of saxophone players that got to work with Prince. And it was so amazing. It was so cool. We worked four years together. We toured. We recorded in the studio. Um, had a lot of amazing memories. So many funny stories. There were numerous times I thought I was going to get fired, and I just didn't. And he actually recorded a jazz album with me that I hope one day gets to get released. We'll see, fingers crossed. But we recorded nine songs and hopefully it'll come out one day. But until then, I put together this medley for you guys of these print songs. And hopefully I can sing it. If I can just get a glass of water, uh, left my bottle of water over there somewhere. And I wanna get through this set. Oh, thank you. Just a little Prince medley for you guys. Can we do some prints for you? I don't know what the protocol is. If you guys can get up and dance, maybe you can just cheer dance a little bit, do that. But we're trying to make you rock, so don't feel like you got to stay seated this whole time, okay? All right. I'm done talking. You ready, Peter?
singing, y'all say, you don't. I got an 
87, Cadillac Ville, and I got a baby Bentley Blue. Now. I diamonds on my fingers, y'all, and I got a couple on my toes. I wear the finest perfume money can buy. You got me smelling, smelling like a rose. Uh, be sexy, y'all. Some ask me how I do it. You know what? It ain't nothing that I learned in school. You wanna know why? Cause I'm just cool. <laughs> Honey, baby, can't you see? I'm just cool. Sing it now. Uh, Cause ain't nobody bad like me. Cause I'm the best. Everybody say, see? Play something, Peter. Keep it right there. Play it for you. Can we keep it right here? Keep it real funky, funky. All you need two arms and an attitude. Come on, everybody, you sing. Everybody say, what? Say, hallelujah. Clap your arms out. I said, oh, 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 oh. Everybody do this. Everybody say, what? <laughs> hallelujah. I said, oh, 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 oh. So I, I said, fellas, don't be rude or cool. Sometimes sisters like it when we act a fool. I said, ladies, don't be shy. Let your body get loose. You ain't too big to fly. Everybody say, what? Ah, hallelujah. Put me on, y'all. Say, oh, 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 oh. Everybody say, what? Hallelujah. Pick it up, now. Say, oh. I'm coming out here, y'all. Say, say, what? Get your arms up. Say, hallelujah. Say, oh, here you go. Everybody in the building. Say, what? Hallelujah. Say, oh, 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 everybody over here, say, what? Hallelujah. <laughs> say, oh, oh, come on. Everybody say, what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, come on, Peter, play some of that. Come on. 
Are y'all ready to go home? Cause y'all too quiet for me. Can we go higher? Can we go higher? Take them to the jungle, y'all. Come on, say. That's right. See, I, I've been watching you. Girl, I want to know you. See, I, I'm a little dangerous. See, girl, I'm going to show you. I said, I, my jungle love. Come on, y'all say, see, oh, me. Girl, I'm going to know you. Say, my jungle love. Come on, y'all say, I said, I, girl, I'm going to. You know what? I said, you, you got a pretty car. I think I want to drive it. But I ain't playing, because I'm a little dangerous. We take you to the room, and we mm, say, jungle love, my jungle love. Sing it, y'all say, see, oh, we. Girl, I want to know ya. Can y'all say that with me? My jungle love. Oh, we all say, see, oh. Girl, I want just the drums. Sing it. Sing oh we oh we oh sing it. Everybody sing oh we oh we oh. Sing oh we bring it in y'all. Come on Peter, give me some of that. You know, stop, stop playing. I just, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little tired. I'm, I'm sweat. I already told you, I got big boy tendencies going on up here right now, and it, it takes a lot of muscle to move this weight. You know, and everybody's just sitting down. I know you got your glass of wine and you're drinking. You're feeling good. You ate, but you know, we're working hard, and I don't know. I thought y'all was with me, Florida. What happened? What happened? Yeah. But you know what? I, it's, it's the thing we do back, back north, and all it takes you is just to get on. 85. And you go all the way up to 95. And then we make our way all the way to DC. So we're gonna hit you with this right here. It's something called go go. And don't resist it. If your hips feel like moving like this, just just just, just rock them side to side. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We piece together this little medley for you. to say hey, yeah yeah uh, hey, yeah 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 uh. y'all know about this in you say uh, hey, yeah uh. can we do it all night come on can we do it all night y'all hit me with it for you. Right here, can we keep it going? Can we 
keep it going. If you're feeling real good, stand on your feet. Uh, uh. If you're feeling real good, just dance with me. Keep that groove going. Now, if you're home and you're dancing, you get fancy. Go ahead, put on your suit and tie. You got your suit and tie. Ladies, if you're home and you're fancy, can we, can we change it up, y'all? Georgie. school 90s r and y'all. Y'all feeling all right out there? Make some noise for me. I can't hear you. I 
So good, say oh. back home, say uh huh. I said, Oh, that's right. La -la 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 -la. Can we? Can I play a little bit, y'all? Keep that going. I'm gonna play, just keep it right there.
twisted my arm. Marcus Anderson, it's been so much fun.
That's right, y'all. Love me. Let's have it. so much. I love you. I got CDs in the back if you want them. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. Peace.